American hero was laid to rest today at Barrancas National Cemetery aboard NAS Pensacola. His body was returned home Tuesday after missing for 65 years. For his family, the service is closure. Fox 10 News reporter Hal Sherrick was there for the ceremony. Home at last, the body of U.S. Army Air Force's Tech Sergeant Walter Adel McClellan was laid to rest with full military honors. McClellan lost his life 65 years ago, but his family says today's service is only fitting. He was active duty military, and we, we think he as a hero. We think he was a hero and deserves a hero's funeral. As a teenager, McClellan joined the Army to fight in World War II. He was sent to Europe to fight the Germans. But in April of 1945, the plane he was in was shot down over Germany, and he went missing. His family thought him dead, but that wasn't the end of his story. McClellan had, in fact, parachuted out, only to be captured by German forces. And I took him to a little inn and uh, began to interrogate him. And uh, all he said in the email was that the interrogation turned rough. <clears throat> so uh, they took him outside and handed him a shovel and... He dug his own grave and they shot him. After the war, some townspeople moved his body to a church cemetery. That's where it stayed for over 60 years. Recently, the U.S. government was notified of the grave site and identified the airman by matching dental records. While the details of McClellan's death are hard for his family to think about, today gives the closure they never thought they would have. After 65 years, Tech Sergeant McClellan is finally laid to rest. But this time, he's home near his family and alongside his other brothers in arms. Reporting from Barrancas National Cemetery, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Keep this in mind, the remains of more than 70,000 U.S. service personnel were never recovered after World War II.